Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 126 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spawn yourself. Okay, as soon as you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So they're saying there is probability n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's a discrete function. So we know for any functions, all of them added together has to equal 1. So probability 2 plus probability 3 plus probability 4 plus probability 5 must be equal to 1. And then they say the probability of n is always greater than the probability of n plus 1. So let's say like probability of 0. So that must be greater than the probability of 1, right? Because this is letting n, is n being equal to 0. So that means when they tell you here, then that means the probability of 0 minus the probability of some number must be equal to x. And you might be wondering, wait, why can't you do probability of 1 minus probability of 0 equal to x? Well, that's te technically, yes, true if it's absolute value. But because we know that 0 has a higher probability of happening than 1, it only makes sense for us to do it this way so we, know we can capture it as a positive number. Likewise, the probability of 1 minus probability of 2 is equal to x. So solving this for probability of 1, you actually get this is equal to probability of 0 minus x. And likewise, if I plug in here, the probability of 1 is equal to probability of 0 minus x minus probability of 2 is equal to x. I can actually simplify that this is equal to the probability of 2 is equal to probability of 0 minus 2x. Again, if you ever need to stop the video, feel free to do so. And then we can also say the probability of 2 minus the probability of 3 must be equal to x. So plugging in 2 here, probability of 0 minus 2x minus probability of 3 is equal to x. So then likewise, we can say that this is equal to the probability of 3 is equal to probability of 0 minus 3x. I bet you can kind of see the pattern. You can guess the probability of 4 is going to be equal to the probability of 0 minus 4x. And then the probability of 5 is going to be probability of 0 minus 5x. Anyways, and in statement 3 says exactly 40% of policyholders file fewer than 2 claims in a given year. So that means fewer than 2 claims. That means the probability of 0 and the probability of 1 must be equal to 0.4. Okay, okay, so we have a lot of information here. Let's just clean it up a little bit. We can plug everything we have here into our statement here. So then, and I'm going to put it in all in terms of probability of zero to make it easier because the less variables we have, the easier it is for us to figure it out. So then probability of zero plus probability of one. Probability of one, again, we know is to be this here. So probability of zero minus x plus probability of two, which we know to be here probability of 0 minus 2x. Probability of 3 is probability of 0 minus 3x. Probability of 4 is probability of 0 minus 4x. And finally, probability of 0 minus 5x must all be equal to 1. Ooh, that's a mouthful. So how many probability of zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 probability of zeros. Minus how many x's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 15. So that's 15x is equal to 1. Okay, okay, so we can almost have two s equations because as you may know from linear equations, in order for us to solve for two variables, you need two equations. But right here we have three. But the good thing is we do know the probability of 1 is equal to probability of 0 minus x, so we can put that in there. Probability of 0 plus probability of 0 is probability of 0 minus x is equal to 0.4. So then this is equal to the 2 times probability of 0 minus x is equal to 0.4. Alright, plugging that in, you get these two statements here. I'm actually going to multiply this bottom one times 15. So it's a little easier. The top one stays the same. 6 times probability of 0 minus 15x is equal to 1. The bo bottom one becomes 30 times probability of 0 minus 15x is equal to 6. So subtracting this one here, I'm going to actually multiply this whole top row by a negative 1. So now this becomes, this is cancels out, and you get 5 is equal to 24 probability of 0. 
So then probability of 0 must be equal to 5 over 24. So then we can pro plug probability of 0 back in. Negative 6 times 5 over 24 plus 15x is equal to negative 1. You get 15x is equal to negative 1 plus 30 over 24. So this is equal to 1 over 4 times 15, which is equal to 1 over 60 is equal to x. All right, all right. That's a lot of math. But anyways, what are we looking for? The probability that they will file more than three claims. So if it's more than three claims, that's the probability of four plus probability of five, right? Because it's not including three, so more than three. So then we're looking for the probability of four plus the probability of five. So what does that equal? Well, we know probability of four is equal to this thing here. Probability of five is equal to this thing here. So plugging in our information, we actually get probability of 0 again is 524, so that's 5 over 24th minus 4 times x, where x is equal to 1 over 60. 1 over 60. And then likewise, this is going to be 5 over 24 minus 5 times 1 over 60. So these two here is equal to 17 over 120 and 1 over 8. So adding up the probability of 4 and probability of 5 together, you get 17 over 120 plus 1 eighth, which is equal to 4 over 15, or approximately 0.2667, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!